One of the most important figures in modern art is a man by the name of Pablo Picasso. From Guernica to Le Demoiselles d'Avigno, his work is often considered as some of the best. This impressive creator was producing incredible works from a young age, up until his passing on, April 8, 1973. Perhaps most well-known as one of the founders of Cubism, Picasso was a prolific artist, moving through many periods and styles during his lifetime. And, as is often the case with geniuses, his personal history is just as interesting as his artwork. Hi welcome to my channel let's take a look at some fascinating facts about Pablo Picasso in this video. Number 1. Pablo Picasso's full name is much longer than you'd think. While most refer to him just as Picasso, his full name was actually 23 words. Pablo Diego José Francisco de Paula Juan Nepomuceno Maria de los Remedios Cipriano de la Santísima Trinidad Martyr Patricio Clito Ruiz y Picasso. These names all come from a list of saints and relatives. Number 2. His first words as a child foreshadowed his future. While most children's first words are mama or papa, Picasso was a true artist right from the start. Picasso's mother said that his first word was peas which is short for lapis. The Spanish word for pencil. It's no wonder that his family started his art education early. Number 3. As a child prodigy, Picasso finished his first painting at 9 years old. Picasso's father Jose Ruiz E. Blasco was a painter and art teacher who quickly picked up on the fact that his son was special. He began Picasso's art education at 7 years old. Ruiz was a strict academic who believed that artists should learn by copying the great masters, as well as plaster casts and live models. Picasso's early pencil drawings and oil paintings show how skilled he was as a child. His earliest painting, The Picador, was completed when he was just 9 years old and by 13 he had been admitted to the School of Fine Arts in Barcelona. Incredibly, he'd been able to complete the rigorous entrance exam, which typically took one month to complete, in just a week. Number 4. Picasso was much more than just a painter. The co-founder of the Cubist movement and co-inventor of the collage was passionate for more than just one art form. Although we mostly remember his famous paintings, Picasso was also a sculptor, ceramicist, theater designer, printmaker, poet, and playwright. His written works, however, began until the age of 53, when Picasso became an avid poet and wrote hundreds of poems. Number 5. Picasso helped invent the modern collage. Together with Georges Braque, the co-founder of Cubism, Picasso invented collage as we now know it. In fact, the term comes from the French word color, which means to glue. Picasso fully embraced this technique, gluing fragments of wallpaper and newspaper clippings alongside his paintings. He was the first artist to incorporate collage into fine art. Continuing his legacy of breaking rules within the art world and introducing new methods to express his creativity. Number 6. Picasso had a strange encounter with a Nazi. During the German occupation of Paris in the Second World War, Picasso decided to remain in the city. His work did not match with the artistic expectations and style of the Nazis, which made it impossible for him to exhibit his art. Picasso had numerous encounters with the German secret police, the Gestapo. On one occasion, the Gestapo were searching Picasso's apartment and when looking at a photograph of Guernica a Nazi officer asked, did you do that? To which Picasso comically replied, no, you did. Number 7. Picasso's paintings are amongst the most stolen. Given the sheer quantity of artwork Picasso produced, it should come as no surprise that he also holds the record as the artist with the most artwork stolen, missing, or in dispute. In 2012, the Art Loss Register listed 1,147 stolen works by Picasso. Some high-profile heists include the 2010 theft of a Picasso painting, along with five works by other artists, from the Musée d'Art Moderne in Paris. During the 2017 trial, the perpetrator declared that he'd thrown the paintings in the dump and was sentenced to eight years in prison. In 2016, billionaire art collector Wilma Tisch sued a Florida art dealer when she realized that her 1929 Picasso painting was for sale in his gallery. Tisha's collection was so large that she hadn't noticed that the painting had gone missing, plucked from the walls by a former housekeeper, who sold it to the dealer. Judges later ordered the artwork returned to its rightful owner. Unfortunately, with Picasso's artwork continuing to go for big money at auction, thefts will continue to be an issue. 
Number 8. Picasso was a relatively bad student. Although a very talented artist from his youth, Picasso was a mediocre student when it came to conventional school. He was known to have low grades and a frequent attendee of detention. Despite his lack of skills at school, Picasso was, means, a prodigy, having started a serious career from a very young age. Number 9. He is the world's most prolific painter. With a career that lasted over 75 years, Picasso had plenty of time to create, and create he did. Picasso didn't just produce artwork. He used creativity and used every opportunity to produce material. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, he created 13,500 paintings and designs, 100,000 prints and engravings, 34,000 book illustrations, and 300 sculptures and ceramics. No other artist has come close to being so prolific during their lifetime. Number 10. Picasso's death brought many misfortunes. Picasso's death came on the 8th of April, 1973, due to pulmonary edema and heart failure. At the moment of his death, Picasso was the richest artist in history, but one who did not have a will. As a result, his paintings were given to French authorities in the form of his estate tax. The whole ordeal made Jacqueline Roquet refuse Picasso's grandson's attendance at his funeral, which caused him such an impact that it led him to drink a bottle of bleach. Jacqueline, Picasso's wife, never managed to recover from the death of her husband, eventually killing herself by gunshot 13 years later. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button or subscribe to my channel.